Hello and welcome to an honest review. This is a, uh, a new show, a new segment, it's brand new. Just started it uh, eight seconds ago. And it's uh, where I review stuff uh, with an honest take, with, with, a, with a little bit of honesty. How about, how about that? How about that for your, uh, how about that for your uh, entertainment value? This week, it's going to be uh, uh, Netflix's movie, uh, Project Power. Now, granted, this movie's like, you know, I think at least two years old, but I just saw it <laughs> yesterday on Netflix. So like, you know, sorry, sorry I'm a little late to the party. But if I just saw it on Netflix, you're probably gonna see it too. It's like one of those movies where you're like, I, I didn't, I, I, why is this, uh, uh, all right, it looks like it could be interesting. Power, uh, power, or Project Power is about, uh, they take a bunch of pills and, uh, and these pills give them superpowers, but some, you know, some are better than others and you don't really have any say as to what superpower, you, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of lazy writing uh, crammed into, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half that, that seems like three. Uh, the movie stars Jamie Foxx. So, you, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a solid actor right there. That, that, that's a that's a that's a A-list actor, and then there's the the guy from I think Third Rock, uh, Gordon Joseph Levitt or um, Joseph. I don't know. He's got like three names, and he, he was in uh, he was in he was in uh, uh, he's been in some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm his agent. I, I'm his agent. It doesn't really matter. He wasn't that, he wasn't really very good at it. Now Jamie Foxx was good. I mean, I guess Jordan Jordan. Jordan Joe, ah, forget it. The guy who plays the uh, the lead, he's the cop in New Orleans. Uh, he, he's uh, he, he's 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 taking these pills and they make him bulletproof. And each pill gives you like a different power. So like his power is he's bulletproof and it only lasts for five minutes, which is also like, uh, all right, I guess why, huh? You literally spend half the movie trying to figure out why these pills are even in circulation. Like you're like, okay. So uh, the, the plot is uh, there's a drug dealer and he's giving all these pills out and getting giving people these pills and it gives them these superpowers. Sometimes you explode if you take one because you just, I don't know, it's like you upset your stomach a little and next thing you know, you you blow up. And, and so you're like, well, why, why are they doing this? So let me, let me save you the trouble that I had to, to, to sit through to find out. Apparently, uh, these were guinea pigs. They were using people in New Orleans as guinea pigs to see if these pills worked. And then they were going to farm them out to armies everywhere so they could have animal power. And, and the animal powers are like, they're, they're odd. They're odd. They're just, they don't make any sense. Like, like the first power you see is this guy takes one of these pills because uh, he wants to kill the Jamie Foxx character who's looking for his daughter. That's the whole premise of the story. Uh, and, uh, and so he takes one of these pills and he, he like all of a sudden like becomes like the flame. Is that, that's not even a real character, is it? <laughs> he, becomes, he catches fire. He can run around and he's on fire. And I'm like, all right, what the hell? What the hell animal is that? What, what, is that like a fire? Is that a firefly maybe? What the... The hell is that? So, like, uh, you know, I'm, I researched the movie a tiny bit. I, I googled it once, uh, and uh, you know, 85 million for this colossal piece of dreck. And it turns out uh, th this character, who the, the fire guy, is Machine Gun Kelly, who I don't recognize because in the movie he's got like he's all disfigured, I guess, because he catches fire a lot, and then there's some residual, you know, flesh damage. So, like, you don't even know it's him. How much money did they pay Machine Gun Kelly to be in this movie? And then you like you wouldn't even know he was in it. You'd be like, oh, he really? He was the? I only know because I looked it up and it said Machine Gun Kelly. I'm like, uh, uh, who, who the hell was he? And then, and then I look at it, he was called Newt and he was the fire guy. So there's another issue right there. He, he's Newt. Like his superpower is that of a Newt. His character is called Newt. What the, what the hell? Newt catches just just bursts into flames and then just walks around and goes for a stroll. Hey, hey, Harry, how you doing? Hey, Sally, good to see. You. Why? Newt's superpowers? They like go out and on a sunny day they sit there and then they do like their little Newt push-ups. They do these things. If you ever, which I don't know if that's mating or territory, but that's all. That's all I, that I'm aware of that is a Newt's superpower. So they're like, ah, that's kind of lame. Let's make him catch fire. Well, why don't you just give him a different? <laughs> None of it makes any sense. And then it, it's it's woke. So it's like it's, it's already lazily written. You, you got a, a, like a, an A-lister and in, in Jamie Foxx starring in it. You, you'd think you might spend some time on the script. Not sure why Jamie Foxx, I mean, they must have paid him a ton of money. That's probably, I mean, $85 million budget. You know, uh, $84.5 million probably went to Jamie Foxx. And the special effects were actually decent. But it was just, it was just so lazily written. And so uh, Jamie Foxx, he gets past this uh, Machine Gun Kelly, Newt, Flame Boy, uh, who, who uh, winds up uh, dying. 
and then uh, and then Jordan Joseph, whatever the hell his name is, is chasing him around because he's the cop and he doesn't know if he's a good guy. And then there's this this young teenage uh, African American girl who's like uh, a dealer, but Jamie Fox finds her, and then they they, they team up together, and she's also it, it, it's a whole thing is just it, is is not only implausible, it's <laughs> it's just terrible. And, uh, and, and then so like I'm watching this thing. I'm like 10 minutes in. I'm already ready to turn it off, you know, because it's like, OK, well, it's what, what the hell is this all about? And, and then they, they get into this whole woke diatribe where like she's in a class, you know, because she sells drugs, but she still goes to school. And there's this evil like not he's made out to be evil. This like white oppressor teacher. And, and, and he, you know, he's talking down to her because he don't get her. And <laughs> Just like, come on, man. And, and then the, the, the thing is, like, maybe I could just be upset because I'm like, well, if I had a part, I would totally be that white oppressor teacher. That would that would actually be my... Because I'm like, I'm a pretty white-looking guy. I'm a pretty white guy in general. So they, if they were cast in that movie, I, that's literally the only part I would even have a shot at. <laughs> So they do that. Then they get into another beef where the 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 uh, Joseph, whatever the hell his name is, Eleventh uh, is uh, his uh, his uh, chief. Uh, his chief uh, discovers he's taking these pills and he shouldn't be. And then he's like, ah, you can't take them. And then they start talking about suits and then Katrina. And I'm like, Katrina? Who the hell? It's like more more woke nonsense. So I turned it off at that point. I'm like, I'm done with this movie. But then I say, hey, you know what? I'm going to do a review on it. And so I watch the rest. And I wish I I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Because as upset as I was about the, all the woke crap and just just the lazy writing and and, and just the, the waste of potential. Because I mean, if you could take a pill and have all these amazing superpowers, that could be an awesome movie. That could be really good. But they just it just it was just sloppy, lazy, right? Didn't nothing made any sense, and the the powers were just weird. And you're like like one guy, uh, he he would just get like like bones would come out of his arm, and he would like try and stab. You're like, well, okay, well what? What animal is that exactly? Another guy was super strong. So he'd be like, okay, maybe he's a, a bear, but couldn't a bear also just be something that catches salmon? Like that that could be your superpower. Like if you're near a lake, you can you can catch salmon with your like it, not, it just none of them is. And then Jamie Foxx, his superpower, which is supposed to be the most powerful of all of them, is that that he has the power of a, a pistol shrimp. And I had to I had to I knew it was a shrimp. I, I had to look up pistol shrimp, which supposedly can like <laughs> just like. Take like knock the flesh right off you with this powerful burst of whatever whatever a pistol shrimp does, you know. And so that's that's his superpower. And, 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 spoiler alert: uh, uh, the bad guys die and everybody's saved. And it's a, a very um, in a very unrealistic, implausible, uh, and and very lazily written manner. And, and you're left at the end of it like, oh, I, I should have just hung up after it started getting all woke. But 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 if it's any plus, and I, I don't think it is, the woke's not the worst part of the movie. I mean, it's just. It's awful. It's just terribly written. I'll get, I'd give it out of five. I'd give it two, but only because, you know, there's, there's some fighting. There's some special effects, you know, and when their stuff's actually moving, it's kind of interesting. You kind of forget that, you know, the build up to it was, was, was nonsensical slop, but, but they you know, at least, at least there's fighting now. <laughs> if there's fighting in a movie and maybe some machine gun play, I'm going to, I'm going to usually give it a two. It's hard to not. Now, if it was all dramatic, yeah, it's a it's a one it's one city, baby. So that's it, and with a snort uh, to to finish off. Um, that is my review of um, well, Project Power. Two years too late, uh, but if the, if I'm just getting it on Netflix, let me save you uh, let me save you two hours of your life or however the hell long it was, because it seems like it was a lot longer. <laughs> Thank you very much. Join me again for my next and probably more current and honest review.